thank you very much, Alfred, for uh, this amazing uh, research and uh, presentation. So I think that it's a, a very uh, important um, uh, conclusion uh, that uh, weeds uh, are important for pollinators. And uh, now we have a strong argument because uh, uh, normal uh, conventional farmers are all, all often complaining that we are cultivating weeds but we could uh, say that we are providing ecosystem services for them <laughs> so this is great um, so uh, th there is a question from paul um, uh, how are you measuring the invertebrates uh, uh, in the field um Thank you for the question, Paul. And basically, as I said, there's a vertical uh, kind of approach. So uh, below the ground, we are looking at the ursins and nematodes, only at them. So no microbial analysis and things like that, because we don't have the resources for that. And uh, for the uh, for the pitfall traps, uh, basically, we, we, we just put it out for 10 days, two times in the year. Um, and uh, and we are now in the in the in the phase of uh, analyzing the 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 content of the of the pitfall traps. Basically, now we are just uh, uh, so we cannot do the analysis on or the, the, the determination of of the, uh, individual species. So we are doing the same as with the pollinators that we are having bigger taxonomic categories like. Uh, 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 mm, what is it? the sorry i can't get the word of the animals but so just the different bigger groups um uh the only where we with the um maybe with the earthworms we will look at the the species level but it's really hard because that that you need really a lot of ta a taxonomic uh, knowledge to do that and as with as i said with the pollinators there we also use this taxonomic group thing so 14 categories. Mm, but if you ask for the methodology, like pitfall traps, that's just we put it out and for 10 days and then we collect it and took the samples into the laboratory. Uh, thank you. Uh, so also I have some question to add, add to that. How do you think would it be possible uh, to perform this kind of analysis for by farmers, uh, maybe in collaboration with researchers, that they could evaluate the effect of their uh, uh, practices, like how uh, technically difficult it is, uh, uh, or like uh, could it be possible with some additional training? Well, for example, in case of the pollinators, I think it's uh, like for with one day with one day training, they could they could learn it. So we did it in this way as well. Like we we had uh, printed pictures and we went out with the with the professor and we were looking at them and registered them and then yeah. So it it can be done with the with the nematodes. It's much 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 uh, uh, more difficult because you need the um, the uh, uh, a special well, uh, what is it? Yeah, so you, you need tools because of course they are invisible. Uh, but for example, in case of earthworms, you, you know they, there there are three main groups of the earthworms, um, and and for that it's it's quite easy. Like uh, in the U.S., they have quite good materials. Actually, we use that for for the determination of different uh, groups. They have very good uh, like uh, big, uh, uh, materials with pictures that I think the farmers could use. Of course, you have to look at the, the national, uh, national context, but like what kind of, of species generally you have, but, but yeah, it could be done. So yes, it could be partly done, of course. And, and if, if they see something very special that they never seen before, I think it, it, it would be a very good thing if they can they can contact someone from from a university or or or, or in a research institute and and help them. And as I see uh, on, from the side of the researchers, they are really happy if they if there's anything like that because they normally they do not really have a lot of I mean strong link with the practice, so they would be happy about that. Thank you. And we uh, have a question from Lukas. Uh, have you seen a drastic change in the population of wild pollinatory bees in your experiment? 
Well, as I as I showed you, uh, so for for the for the honeybees, it was the organic farm which was the most beneficial. Uh, while for the white bees, it was the permaculture farm, and it uh, and yeah, it it there was quite a big difference uh, among the farms because at the permaculture farm they had much more different kinds of of um, of flowering uh, cultures like this uh, uh, covering mixture and also the uh, I think the um, the lamiaceae herbs was 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 the was the best for them. So yeah, I mean in that uh, there you could really see that. Uh, how, how was the difference between the different farms? Mm -hmm. um, but during the uh, during the the year, I mean, we did the so we did the the tests, the the observation uh, in uh, in May and in June, July and in September. And basically, there was a uh, so the uh, in September at the organic farm and at the uh, conventional farm, there was a really big decrease in all all all, all kinds of pollinators. Um, so there was a trend in, in the time, but uh, yeah, and it concerned everything, not just white bees. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and uh, maybe we have a uh, time uh, for one more question. Uh, so maybe then I, I can ask you. Um, do you know uh, to what extent uh, the indicators you which you have measured are? Uh, integrated with the system of indicators uh, which are used by uh, uh, in common agriculture policy in agro-environmental schemes uh, meaning to what extent your uh, uh, results could be useful for improving or assessing these schemes hmm. well as much as i know for, uh, from my studies so I, uh, in the last period of the common agriculture policies there was really nothing like this like assessment on the field so they were just looking at at the practices whether they applied or not so they didn't look at the uh, at the results and now there's a trend like quite a strong trend that they would like to tend to 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 a different like to give money uh, on a result based scheme um i'm still a bit skeptic so i i don't think that will be done on uh, in the next round i mean from from 2000 uh, 20 but uh, but at least there are some trials um, uh, well you know I mean that that could be used but I think to, to link it to subsidies is um, then uh, that should be done with the third party not with but not by the farmer I think so mm -hmm. definitely these kind of of, of, of of methods could be useful uh, to, to do this also with the soil and things like that. So yes, mm -hmm. um, that could be useful and we'll see. So Thank at you. least in Hungary, for example, there are some mm -hmm. trials, not really on the pollinator side, let alone on the soil side, like to carry out uh, 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 tests in the field. And yeah, we'll see how, how they go with it. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you very much, Alfred. 